a nice balance, haven't they? Now Adelaide will find Scott Jameson for Aurelio Vidmar. He's allowed. It's allowed him to push Cassio further up into midfield, where he's much more dangerous. Oh, penalty given for the challenge on Cristiano. Millianenac says he got the ball. Ben Williams is unmoved. Spot kick for Adelaide within the first five minutes. Well, first reaction is that is extremely harsh. It was uh, Millianenac leading the protests. But whether it's right or wrong, Travis Dodds has the chance to open the scoring for Adelaide United after just six minutes. Which he does. Tucks the penalty away. And Travis Dodds, so coveted by the J-League, shows why he's still very much a threat in the A-League from 11 metres. That takes it perfectly, goes the wrong way, Red Mate. Beautifully taken penalty. Here's the decision again, clearly wrong. Bodic clearly taking the ball. Bit of contact on the follow-through. And then Travis Dodd steps up, sends the keeper the wrong way, and starts touching the badge. Well, how long will he be wearing that badge? Andrew Redmayne. Very vocal to his uh, defence. I think every player marked up. Well, it's gone well over the goalkeeper and it's headed in by Robert Cordswaite, who just can't stop scoring at the moment. And it's Adelaide, two goals to the good. Well, the young keeper making his full debut. Well, he certainly comes flapping at that one. It's a decent corner in, but Redmayne just completely misjudges the flight of it. And Cornthwaite, very good in the air. We saw that with his winner against Kashmir Antlers. And really just out jumps Bogard. And it's a simple header into an empty net. And you have to feel for the young goalkeeper there. What about the uh, big old celebration by uh, Robert Cornthwaite? Does that mean he flies through the air with the greatest of ease? Something along those lines? Paul Reid to take the set piece. And swinger, up goes Courtwaite again. Redmayne didn't whether to stick or twist. And it's forced home by Cristiano. And Adelaide to have a three goal advantage. Well, His we, fifth of the season. Well, we talked about the aerial threat. And there was just the sheer presence of Ognanovsky in there as that ball came back in. Paul Reid with the corner. Cristiano with another poacher's goal. He's third in two weeks, and he goes to the top of the goal-scoring list. Cornthwaite in there, difficult to deal with. Ognanovsky was just a presence. Yednak and Clark didn't deal with it. It fell to Cristiano, who was just lurking in front of the goalkeeper. Just toe-pokes that with his left foot. Past Redmayne, the goalkeeper not to blame. And well, if they had a mountain to climb, Central Coast, it's just got all the more steeper. They don't score tonight here. It's the first time they've failed to score against Adelaide United since the inception of the Hyundai A-League. Yellow card shown by uh, Ben Williams. Last ditch attempt. And Simon was clearly away. And now the Central Coast have the chance to get a goal back. Miller Yedinak with the kick, and he tucks it away. Maybe only a consolation, but it gives the Mariners a glimmer. Game of two penalties, both converted. Well, confidently taken by Yednak, as was Travis Dodds for Adelaide, the first goal of the match. There's the challenge from Constanzo. They have nothing to complain about. That's clearly a penalty. Over a quarter of an hour to go. Adelaide sitting back here. Yedinak drives one and scores a second. 3-2. Game on at Heimarsh. Well, Kolekovic after a faultless first half. That one's clearly just a goalkeeping mistake. Decent strike from Yedinak. Plenty of power in it. It's moved, obviously. He checks here. Brings it back onto his right foot. 
A lot of power. It's probably moved in the air, but Kolekovic knows that that's a regulation save. A little bit to his left-hand side. He might have been going the wrong way. The ball definitely moved in the air. Foul on Wilkinson. Neil Bogart, who chips it through, looking for Matt Simon, who's round the keeper. It's 3 all. Incredible. After being 3 0 down, the Mariners tie the game up. Galekovic beaten by Simon. What a match we've had at High Marsh. Well, what a comeback. And there's still over six minutes, seven minutes to go. It's a great finish for us, Simon. Good pace. And you'd have to say, Ross Aloisi talked about the performance of Kalekovic as a sweeper behind his back four in, in the first half and caught a bit square. Kalekovic comes again. The first half he was getting those. This time he falls short. Simon gets a toe there. Goes around Kalekovic and still has a good finish. And didn't he do it well? And the comeback is complete. And here was me saying it was all over for that 15 minutes ago. Well, I think 99 people out of 100, Robbie, would have agreed with you.